Most soldiers deploy and redeploy with their units, but thousands a year are called upon to fill special roles downrange. Since 2004, over 203,000 soldiers have come through the Fort Benning Conus Replacement Center to prepare for their missions. Normally, a unit that deploys, they have a myriad of key gates that they have to go through in order to meet the standards to deploy. When you're a non-related unit deployer, you don't have a unit to do that with, so we, pro we provide that function for them. Deploying soldiers are assigned to the CRC for one week. Here, they receive last-minute training, including a class on first aid. At this point, the casualty is not totally unconscious. This is their last stop. I mean, they've gone to CLS. Most of them have been through CLS Refresher. But, you know, getting ready to go, there could be updates that they're not aware of. So being that this is the last opportunity they get to, to brush up on the training, you know, some of these people are going to hit the ground and be in harm's way. So we just want to make sure they get everything they need before they deploy. Having centralized training plays a key role in helping these soldiers stay mission ready. After 10 years of serving as the hub of deploying and redeploying soldiers, Fort Benning passes this important role to Fort Bliss. First Army picked up the mission back in May and the unit at Fort Bliss is now prepared to receive deploying and redeploying soldiers and they've stood their CRC element up out there. Is this way you get one group, everyone's getting the same more of a standardized training as opposed to each group kind of do, putting their own spin on it. This way you've got, hey, this is what the Army says we have to do, and you've got one group of people that's training them that way to a set standard and then sending them on their way to where they need to go. Even though the CRC is moving, these soldiers will still receive the training they need pre- and post-deployment. Melissa Anderson, Fort Benning TV.